I think the default prediction would be probably the conservatives hang together and reach some kind of conclusion that produces a map that's very much like the maps that are in place now. But there is a possibility in particular of Justice Hagedorn splitting off or having some matter of, you know, an, an opinion on some matter that's different from his fellow conservatives. Even in the order that the court issued to create this hearing on Wednesday, Hagedorn agreed with the other conservatives that we ought to adopt a least changes map, that was the right way to go. But he wrote a separate opinion saying, you know, it would be okay if we considered other things too, like keeping communities of interest together or trying to, you know, produce maps that are good looking where the districts are not irregular in their shape. Uh, so it's possible that he will resist maybe the temptation for all the conservatives to vote in a uniform way. He has been a kind of rogue justice during his time on the court, sometimes breaking with conservatives, sometimes really frustrating conservatives around the state by not voting in lockstep with the other conservatives on the court. So he, he's part of the mystery as to what the court will do and could be a contributor to maybe the court not reaching an outcome. If there, if there can't be a firm conclusion, then the court might end up throwing up its hands and that's, again, another opportunity for the federal courts to be involved. 